Hi, this is Liz. We just got back, my dad and I, from traveling in South Carolina. We did a four-day trip. Well, plus five, I guess, with driving <laughs> day trip. Uh, visiting the sites of the Southern Campaign of the American Revolutionary War. This is day four that I'm talking about now, or day five, because we'll say day four. <laughs> the day that we saw our last site and drove back home. So this is the day that we visited, 96. And this was another National Historic Site or battlefield um, where the town of 96 was sieged, actually twice, besieged twice. And we got to see the Star Fort, the remains of what used to be the Star Fort and the earthworks. And there's a tower that you can actually climb up and go up in the tower and look down over the Star Fort. And you can see the site where the jail was and where there was a, previously a road there that's sunken in and where there was a stream that's also not there anymore. <laughs> uh, but this site, very similar to Kings Mountain, had a paved walking trail. This one was about one mile and the sign outside the visitor center announced to us that it would take us about an hour to do. And my dad turned to me and said, we'll plan on an hour and a half. We actually got it done in a little less than an hour and a half, but that was with lots of plenty of stops. There were plenty of benches for us to rest on. And this trail was less strenuous than the one at Kings Mountain. Kings Mountain wasn't strenuous, but it was, there were more elevation changes throughout the trail. And this one was a lot more flat. There was a hill at the bottom and a little bit at the end, but for the most part, it was a very accessible trail. We enjoyed it a lot. We learned a lot about 96. This wasn't a stop that we had initially planned to make on our trip. It was something that we kind of added on later. So it was a it was a fun surprise for us to see the site and to be able to walk through it. My dad did great and we had a wonderful time there. That's all.